Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. I'm not sure just in time for what, but we are on a road trip. And I'm currently set up at Lake Mineral Wells State Park, one of my favorite, one of my top five Texas state parks. If you've been following the channel, you know I identified this site as one of my favorites at Lake Mineral Well State Park. We're in site number 27. It's on the 50 amp loop. Now check this out. That's, that's west. So we got plenty of shade. But we have 50 amp. So we can run both AC units. Starlink's got a great view of the sky. Verizon has several bars. So we're good there. Site number 27 is a double. Great big asphalt pad, big enough that we could pull the truck up if we wanted to. But for me, best of all, I've got a, a good solid patio and just a short walk down. Oh, just a short walk. Whoa, trip, tripping and falling on big rocks. We got. We have the ubiquitous lantern hook. Looks like it's not very stable. We'll be camping in style. So we have a steak cooker or a burger cooker. I prefer to call it the steak cooker. A burn ring, a fire ring, and a burn ban in place. So there's no, not, neither one of those are gonna get used. We have an aluminum picnic table and a concrete pad and all that's fine and dandy. But the exciting thing is, we are waterside. Although, with the lake being as low as it is, the water actually should be right up here. I mean, literally, we, sh we should be looking at water right there. Every place is dry. Pretty much the whole state of Texas is still in a burn ban. I think that's where penitentiary, penitentiary hollow is. That's where people do the rock climbing. I'm, I'm not going to give you a full tour and show you the stuff. I've done it twice here already and once this year. Good morning. Good morning from Lake Mineral Well State Park. What a beautiful place to wake up. I sat down here in, a, in my lawn chair, put my chair right there yesterday evening for about two hours and just enjoyed the view. Probably not gonna have a a view like this the rest of the trip. So this morning, she's got a meeting and then we'll get on the road and we're gonna drive probably RV time will be about four hours. We're headed to San Angelo, Texas. I like this site a lot. You'll enjoy it too. I did my Insta360, the 360 degree video yesterday. So that'll be coming online. You may have already seen, I don't know. Still not sure how all this is gonna, gonna play out. But I do know, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you down the road. San Angelo State Park. We're here. We had to stop at HEB in San Angelo. Buy some groceries. Let's talk about site number one. One. Site number one is a pull-through site. As you can see, asphalt pad. It's, it's 50 and 30 water and a mesquite tree 
<laughs> we have, no, we have two mesquite trees. We have a concrete picnic table with a metal roof. We have a charcoal grill, a steak cooker, and a place to burn a campfire. And it looks like we don't have a burn ban. I'm not sure. I gotta get some clarity, clarification on that. Cause this dry, the lake here is at, a, I think she said 2%. But you can see we only had to put up a little bit there on the front to get us level this way, side to side. It's pretty well spot on perfect. We've got three bars, Verizon 4G. Of course, we've got a clear view of the northern sky. We are in West By God, Texas. A little bit too late in the day to start showing you the stuff, but we're here all day tomorrow, so I don't have to don't have to rush my boat ramp fans are gonna not they're not you're not gonna be happy i'm sorry to say we have a boat ramp but it's uh about 200 yards from the water uh that's what that's what two percent looks like that's that's scary stuff all right Let's go see some more San Angelo State Park stuff. Although the lake doesn't have a whole lot of water in it, San Angelo State Park still got a lot of good stuff going for it. So if you're out in the San Angelo area and you want to have a group gathering, have a really great group pavilion with shades so you can block out a lot of that sun. They even have a volleyball and washers not a horseshoe pitch a washer pitch we have a campfire big cooker buckles to hold the oh those can serve as wind breaks all right i see now you can drop that down and it'll block block that west texas wind hey let's Let's go up here and see some cabins. So there are real wooden cabins. Check this out. They're, they're actually little log cabins. Of course, it's not a rustic log cabin. And, and the, of course, the door is locked, but we can take a look inside. Oh, look, we've got bunk beds, a full-size bed. That's pretty cool. No window there. Maybe there's a window at the back. Yeah, air conditioner. You can style now. Check that out. Four bunks, five five beds. You can even plug an RV in. Hey, that's all right. You could you could use that as an office, huh? All right, let's let's go see what else we can find at. Where are we? San Angelo State Park. Let's go see some more San Angelo State Park stuff. Time for the shower check. Well, there's only one shower. That's interesting. You install that, I guess, just to put the bench in. A pretty decent stream. A little, little concrete bench. As far as I know, this is uh, the only shower. Definitely the only shower for the loop we're in. Well, that's that's handy if you're out here riding a bicycle. I saw the big mushroom looking building and I was just wondering what was going on over here? What in the wide, wide world of sports is going on? I think this is the start of a very well used bicycle path, bicycle trail, bike trail, I don't know. I'll keep, I'll keep exploring. I'll keep looking for stuff. If, if you're traveling with little ones and, and you're coming to San Angelo State Park and they want to play on the playground equipment, be advised. There's a bunch of stickers all over the place. 
It's a good one though. Got some wild ponies to ride. Poles to slide down. Balance beams to walk. Swings. Some of them cool swings we can go real high on and jump out. You know what I'm talking about. Used to drive mom crazy when I was a kid wanting to jump off the swing. Yeah. They even have a, a handicap swing. All right. Let's go see what else we can find. So this wildlife viewing area is sponsored by the Lions Club. There's a javelina right there. I bet he's not supposed to be in there. Somebody got to clean up all that messy bird seed. All right, let's go see if we can find some more stuff. So San Angelo State Park is where they have part of, so part of the state longhorn herd is here and part of the state bison herd is here. Uh, we got several of them back in here getting some water. Those are signs all over this fence saying, keep your distance. Bison are aggressive. They're bis bison are stupid. <laughs> They'll, they don't care that you're a person and you just want a picture. Look at that big old bull. Look at that big old bull. And I bet he's six foot at the shoulder. Let's go see some more stuff. I think the two best things about San Angelo State Park, sunset and sunrise. Of course, I, the sun is already up, but man, it's a beautiful sunrise. I know when yesterday we had a beautiful sunset over there. We're gonna have much better lighting today. What a commanding view. So this, we're camped way back over there. It's amazing how big this lake would have actually been, or once was. So way down here is where the Concho River, there's actually, I see a little bit of water there. Them there be bison. And that's a big old bull. This one right here, looking right at us. That's, that's the big daddy bull. Oh, and there's the little baby. That's pretty cool. All right, headed to the dam. Let's go do a damn ride. Well, we have made it back to the outflow. That's a, a substantially longer ride than I was expecting. But we can, we can kind of get an idea of what this lake would have been like when there was water in it. It looks like the water line would be like Right here, yeah, right there. 
Well, you learn something new every day. At least you should. And I learned something new. I asked the folks at the gate if there was anything about anything else about San Angelo State Park that I ought to be aware of. And she said, well, you know, we've got the yada, yada, yada. We've got the bison. We've got the longhorn. And I said, yes, ma'am. And I said, I noticed that at one point there was a north. Oh, she said, that's still open. And I, oh. I didn't realize that. That's where the Bell Trailhead is located. So if you have horses or you want to do some serious biking, cycling. And then we've got, there's actually campsites over here. Ha! I did not know. So we're going we're gonna to check it out. I'm, I'm not going to deploy the e-bike because the battery's dead. So we're just going to, we're just going to cruise through here and stop and take a look at some of these equestrian sites and we'll go from and then we'll go from there we'll go from there so let's go see some equestrian sites i am impressed man this is this is a if you're if you do equestrian camping you gotta come see this so the the sites all have electric or not all but most of them have water and power you get a couple of paddocks, place to burn some wood, place to eat some food under cover, but big, beautiful pecan trees. And there's a lot of these sites. And of course, they've got, I don't know how many miles of trails. They got a lot of trails out here for you to ride your horse on. Let's there's, there's more sites. Let's go see them. Let's go look at some campsites on the north side. We're just on the north bank of the, the North Concho River. A lot of north stuff going on here. But there's some really pretty campsites down here. Now we gotta do a shower check. Gotta do the dude RV shower check. <clears throat> they look about the same as the ones on the other side. Now the fixtures are dated, but it's clean. It is very clean. All right, I'm gonna head back to camp. I gotta cook a steak. Ribeye night. Well, our visit to, our visit to San Angelo State Park is coming to a close. I, 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 have, I have a whole new perspective on San Angelo State Park. It's, it's not as, it, you know, it's sad that the lake is not here, but this is still a really great Texas State Park. There's over 50 miles of hike and bike trail. I didn't know about the 
equestrian area and I didn't know about the Bald Eagle Bald Eagle Creek or whatever that's called up on the north side. Knowing what I know now, I will I, I will be coming back and when I come back I'm gonna stay up in the equestrian loop. Uh, there, there was nobody there. And they had power, power and water, and a dump station, and big old trees. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, indeedy do. I'm going to stay there next time I'm here. For one reason more than any other, and that would be the road noise. Now, right now, I'm not hearing that road noise because I've got the air conditioner blowing. But man, yesterday evening and this morning, yesterday evening and this morning, that road noise was, it was loud. I don't know why. It seems kind of strange that it would be loud here. And, and maybe it's because of some funky echo. Yeah, and I think really think that's what it is because it sounds like the traffic's over here when the traffic is back here. So I think maybe that sound is bouncing off the dam. I don't know. I'm really uh, impressed with the dam. That, that is a very long structure. I, I think it was more than three miles. I think it was closer to five. I could be wrong. It just felt that way. Oh, I got salt in my eye. Sweat in my eye. Whole new perspective on San Angelo State Park. And, and that, that's as with everything, your first impression is not always the correct one. I will be coming back. I think this is a fantastic waypoint stop. If you're, if you're moving anywhere close to San Angelo, this is a great place to, to stop over and plug in and get some power. see some wildlife told at the gate this afternoon that tomorrow morning they put out on saturday mornings they put out feed for the the livestock the bison and the longhorns so if you really want to see some bison and some longhorns and you don't want to go all the way up to caprock canyons for the bison it's a great place to see some bison and some longhorns without having to travel all the way to the panhandle that's the better way to say it if you want a great view of the whole area, walk out on that dam or get your bike and ride out. And you can see, you can see downtown San Angelo. You're actually higher than down the tallest building in downtown San Angelo. I thought that was interesting. Lots of sharp and prickly things here. There may be some things with fangs here. This is rattlesnake country. That's all I got to say. I'm done. We're closing out the official San Angelo State Park video. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. According to YouTube, the, the, all the stuff in my back office, about 97% of y'all that are watching have yet to click on the subscribe button. And that would mean so much to me and it would help me so much if you would just look right down there it's, it's just click the subscribe button and if you're wanting to follow along click remember to click the bell as well that way you'll be notified if you've already subscribed thank you so much i'm gonna give you one more look hold on Now, if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. That's why I get to come out and explore and see these things. It's because of you. Thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons, uh, we just picked up a new one today. Uh, retired military, retired Marine warrant officer. The rarest of the rare. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thank you so much for your generosity. To all of our patrons, thank you for your generosity. It is most appreciated. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?